This time lapse video we want you to take a look at. This is the same camera earlier today capturing the cloud movement around the same time a tornado warning was issued for Cook and Will counties. And check out these clouds. This is near Beecher. These were sent by Haley Vusco. Will County officials say there were some power outages today, but electricity at many homes and businesses has been restored. Well, the second time in just a week, tornado sirens sounded in the Chicago area. This is video from Crete. The storm also plowed through northwest Indiana. Nate Rogers has been out surveying damage. He joins us live now. Nate. That's right, Natalie. There was widespread damage in the south suburbs as well as in parts of Indiana. And in fact, we were standing right here underneath um, the Crete Fire Station as more and more calls came in of trees falling um, in people's front yards, their backyards. And then there was a call of a woman that had been stuck after a tree had fell on top of her area. She was coming toward me. I heard the tree creak. And it fell on. The results of torrential rain and a pretty close call. This massive tree along Frederick Road uprooted and fell within seconds. A 63 year old woman became trapped after she and her husband stepped outside. Paramedics quickly rushing her to a nearby hospital. Are you okay? Are you okay? And we're saying call 911. We went over there and started pulling branches away as quick as we could, but yeah. I never seen anything like that. Here's video of a funnel cloud touching down in Crete around 2 p.m. Much of the day, many roads became impassable. Driving visibility indeed poor. Also, lots of trees now submerged. Wind, tons of rain. Look, look at how rain. flooded everything and just torrential downpours. Here's more aftermath video from Dyer and Sherryville. Widespread damage, power lines down, and many trees blocking roadways. Storm just blew out of nowhere, came through and knocked down all our trees, and it's just been a big mess. Throughout the day, residents worked to remove fallen branches and other debris. Folks we spoke to remain grateful, knowing the damage could have been much worse. This is probably the worst we've seen in, what, few years. Now, as of 8 o'clock this evening, um, NIPSCO put out about 6,400 um, utility outages. We're still waiting to learn from the family on the woman um, who was injured by the tree that came down. She was still in the hospital at last check, but is expected to be okay. We're live in Crete, Nate Rogers, Fox 32 News.